Well, it's very different from what I'd done before, for sure. I mean, it's still skiing, but um, I don't think I've, I'd ski that fast in any alpine skiing course. Uh, my first thoughts when I came up here, I, honestly, I was completely overwhelmed. Competing at those speeds and over the terrain and, and uh, the view that you have here in the background and being in the middle of nowhere for the week, it's just kind of sensory overload. It's super fun. I'm on top of the world. I've never stood on top of anything like this. Racer ready? Three. Two, one, hit it. It was who do? Who do you love? <laughs> Most of what we show you on North to Alaska happens from May to September every year. So what do Alaskans do for the other six months of the solar loop when daylight hours dwindle to a precious few or less? Alaskans love being outdoors. They think, why spend life cooped up in an apartment in a crowded city when you could live wild and free in Alaska? So when winter rolls around, they think, why spend life cooped up in a cabin in Alaska? So when all the fish have been caught and all the tourists have gone home, Alaskans regroup, relax, and enjoy a wonderland all their own. Sure, you might think of snowmobiling, ice fishing, and the Iditarod as normal Alaskan winter activities, but a few of the hardy hit the mountains with skis. 22 years ago, Howard Thies and a few of his buddies were doing just that at Summit Lake Lodge. In 1985, a bunch of us came down to ski, and in the process of that night skiing, that day skiing, I kind of made a competitive bet with three of my buddies that I could beat him from the top where we start the race today to the bottom, and I won that. $200 in my pocket, and off we are. Now, for one week every April, this valley transforms into Alaska's fourth largest city. The race, now called the Arctic Man, draws in athletes and spectators from around the world. Although we've been hearing about it for more than a decade, this year we finally got a chance to attend. Hey, Mr. Hey. Mark, how you been? Got all kinds of paraphernalia for you. Good. Light day today, there's only about 2,000 there's only 2,000 yeah. here already? We're yeah. still, what, two tomorrow's, days away? Well, tomorrow's a big day. About 5,000 will come in tomorrow. 5,000 yeah. people come in the gate tomorrow? Yeah, and then we'll end up with about 12 by Friday night, or Friday during the race. So. Man, you're going to have a busy day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to, to the Arctic, man. man. Enjoy yourself. All righty, yeah. partner. Yeah, it's kind of an atmosphere. It's, it's a party atmosphere, to say the least. Where else can you come in the middle of nowhere and set this thing up? You come back here in a week, you never know what's ever happened. You can't do it in Vail, Colorado. You can't do it in San Francisco, but we can do it in Laugh. Base camp will fill up in just three days, holding 12 to 15,000 visitors. Oh. Oh, 
Hold on. 